Hey guys, today we're doing another printer disassembly video. This is a Canon PIXMA MG6220 printer. Um, if you're looking for an MG6620, it's a different build and you can find it in our videos. Um, <clears throat> or I'll uh, put the link below. So, uh, we'll just get started on this one. We're gonna do the outside parts first, the easy ones to replace. The cassette tray just comes out without any, not much effort. The back tray, we're gonna lift it up and we're gonna press right here in the middle and then just pull that out. Same thing to put it back in, just put it in, in reverse. The front tray, this is the um, front cover or the output tray, what we're going to do is also, we're going to press, lift it up a little bit like this here, we're going to press in the middle, push it to the left or the right, whatever is more convenient for you, and this one just pulls out, come right out. So these things are holding that tray. Um, power supply it's located on the bottom over here so we have a tab right here and on this side that we need to pull so usually because I only have two hands I'm gonna put to uh, release the this tab here and then this one here and just pull it out like so disconnect it and put the other one in if you have a good power supply to replace it with. Now we're going to remove the covers on the side. So what we're going to do is remove the four screws here. There's one, two, three, four. We're going to use a Phillips screwdriver or a tip. This side is where your logic board is located. You can see it by the ports. So remove any tabs that are there. And now what we're gonna do is, <coughs> let's just lift this here. We're gonna use a flathead screwdriver. To release, should just come out. Got my shepherd. There's a tab right here that we can just press. That should release. Okay. Like so. Here we go. This is out. There's this other tab. Now this side has the logic board and we'll get to it. Let's remove this side here. Oops. Now also removing the, the side panels is going to release the top cover because it's held by the two... Um, I'll show you. So it sits in here. So as soon as you remove them, it's... Uh, Free, but make sure you don't pull it to avoid any damage to the wires. You don't have to lift it up, I'm just lifting it so I can show you where 
the ports are. Let me lift this up a little bit. Okay, so it's these that are holding the side panel, side covers. Put that in to release it. So we have the second one out now. To remove the whole top cover, we're first going to see which cords go to the logic board and we're going to disconnect them. It's these two here. Leave that magnet. And then we also have this cord that I believe goes to the control panel. You're gonna disconnect them and release them from this loop here. Another cord that's holding it down is this one. I'm gonna release the magnet. So there's five connections for this, we're going to remove that. Um, if you just need to replace the scanner unit, what you are going to do is you're going to remove these screws. tabs after you remove the screws and the glass should just lift up like so and to replace the scanner unit I'm just gonna remove it from the drive belt these usually don't need much um, they rarely go out so um, definitely you don't need to remove the side panels to get to this so it's just another tip here gonna release this piece and then pull the cord out there we go and this is where the wire goes right in there so you're gonna disconnect and put the new uh, scanner lamp right in um, so that's basically how you remove that um, let's remove the hinges
There we go. Put a flathead screwdriver in there. Right in the middle of the hinge. And it just slides it out like so. So if you're just re replacing the top cover with the screen, that's the way to do it. And to do that, you don't need to re remove this part. And to replace the hinges, you're just going to remove a couple screws around this area. To release the cover. Let's just go ahead and do that. And then just also go around like we did with the scanner, go around the perimeter, and just unclamp everything from the tabs. So in order to get to those, looks like there are there may be a couple of screws under here, and I don't want to do that. I don't want to go under there. But um, see if we can just remove. I've never actually removed this, like this assembled, this top piece, but. The hinges, if you really need to get to them, there's three screws under this panel, and you'll be able to get them out. It's a rare occasion. These usually are pretty strong and don't need to be replaced. But Okay, let's get to the inside of the printer real quick. It's actually the top portion is clipped in, in most case, but... Um, Sometimes there could be just one screw holding it down. In this case, it looks like it's all just with clips. So <clears throat> let's try pulling it out. There's a clip right here. One here, and you can see arrows there too. Um, that removes this portion here. Um, and now you're inside the printer if you're uh, if you need to replace for example a timing strip you have it right here You can just pull it to the right away from the spring Spring lets it go and that's how you replace uh, remove it now when you put it back in make sure you put it into the right slot in order for it to work right so What I usually do if my timing strip is ripped or if it's damaged or if it's old I put the new one in um 
even if I get a little bit dirty, it's fine. I can just wipe it later when I install the new one. Um, I put the new one in and then remove the old one so it stays in the same place. Um, and this is the timing strip for this printer for MG6220. This is something that we could have done a while back. The print head actually removes very easy, just like cartridges. Um, and here we go. So this is our carriage unit. Now we remove the print head and the ink. Timing strip is removed. The uh, formatter board or logic board is on this side. So and to replace it, we're just gonna disconnect all the cords. You don't have to really mark them because they're laid out in such a way that you should be able to just put it back in order. This one actually just unclamps, so when you're going to put the new one in, you, you got to make sure you clamp it in. This one just sticks in. This one is also one of those clamp connections. This one just pulls out and pulls in. Just be, care be careful not to break it if you can't get to a certain one. Grab either a screwdriver to get you access to a cord. Looks like we removed all, all the cords here. Okay, so looks like four screws are holding it down and it comes right out pretty simple uh, I wouldn't say it's too hard to replace all you do is just remove this side of the panel disconnect all wiring put it uh, remove it put it back in and reconnect all the wires here all the cords this is a media card reader that's in front of the printer that one rarely needs to be replaced. First of all, not many people use it. If you do need your printer to read a card and uh, you're having a problem with it, you can always get an adapter for the unit that works if one slot doesn't work. But if you still want to replace it, it really is not that hard. But you will need to... Let's see here. Let's remove this front. That'll give us access to another cord. So there was a screw here, here, and here. And this is the memory card reader for that printer. Let's remove the carriage, uh, carriage unit. So in order to do that, we're going to remove this piece, zoom it out a little bit. Okay, so there's a clamp right here and one on this side. And we're going to remove the carriage unit. First, we need to remove the two screws that hold this bar. That bar releases timing strip. We're going to release it from the motor assembly. And let's see here. We're going to take it over to this section right here where the slot is like so and that will let us release it when you put it back same thing you're just going to put it in here because here you won't be able to pull it out okay 
before you pull it out though, let's make sure you release all the cords for it. So it's already disconnected from our formatter board. There's clamps right here that we can just move to the right. There we go. So it's not in our way. So this wiring goes right here. We're just gonna pull it. It's a bit of work and getting to it is also not that simple. Like you can see how far we went already. And it's probably how far you'll need to go in order to replace the carriage unit. this magnet here So that releases the timing strip, I mean the carriage unit, and that's what it looks like with all the cords and the belt. And the last thing we're going to remove here is the motor. So there's two the screws that hold it. Those are them. Gonna pull it out and disconnect it, or you can disconnect it first. Connection was right here from this little tiny cord here, and that's pretty much it. So, this is how far we'll go with this printer. Um, it's an MG6620 printer, that's what we got. The motor goes there and all the other parts that we already took out. Hopefully we were able to help you fix your printer. Or if you were just watching for entertainment, thank you for doing so. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel for more. We have other models that we, were, uh, we already showed how to disassemble. Uh, your suggestions in the comment section appreciated, so go ahead and do that. Um, and have a wonderful day. Thank you.